Brady, but at age 41, Brady's still going strong as he gets set to play in the Patriots' eighth straight AFC championship game. When asked about the cornerstone of his franchise, Patriots owner Robert Kraft did not understate how he should be remembered. Definitely the greatest, the greatest player of all time, not just quarterback, in my opinion, because he's such a leader in the locker room. And for someone double the age of some of the players to be able to lead like that and connect like that and have the work ethic that he has and at the same time so pleasant to be around it's you know i'm i'm really the luckiest guy in the world Chris Kenny, every couple years we seem to have this conversation, and then Tom Brady comes out and plays for you know a couple know, the, more years. A couple more years at the top, <laughs> the top of the NFL, top of his game. Is Tom Brady the goat, the greatest of all time? Well, in terms of quarterbacks, yeah. And so, if you're having a conversation of greatest players ever in the NFL, I think he has to be included in that conversation. But I don't think you can be dismissive of the accomplishments of other players in our league just because they don't play quarterback. See, we mm -hmm. do this thing with quarterback because of the nature of position, because it has the most impact in terms of winning and losing games than any other position, we always say, okay, if you're the greatest quarterback, then you're potentially the greatest player ever. But that's dismissive of contributions from guys like Reggie White and what he did on the field and then also off the field, being a part of the lawsuit for free agency for NFL players today. Mm. Anthony Munoz, okay. Anthony Munoz and what he meant to our game in terms of being able to have sustained excellence for over a decade, but then also the diversity aspect of it as well. You look at Jerry Rice and how he revolutionized the position of wide receiver. I mean, you could go on and on with the accomplishments of so many players in our game. Jim Brown, you brought his name up earlier in the mm -hmm. show. I mean, you can't look past what he meant to our game. So I understand where Robert Kraft was going with his comments, but I, I can't necessarily get on board with saying Tom Brady is the greatest player ever. Greatest quarterback? Sure. I mean, he's got as many Super Bowl appearances as any other franchise outside of New England. He's been to eight Super Bowls. He's been to 13 conference championship that's, that's games. You can't be dismissive crazy. of what Tom Brady has accomplished, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to sit out here and say he's the greatest player of all time because I think it's it's such a subjective comment. So there's so let's just look at our four major sports, right? And where there actual is like goat debate and it makes sense. In hockey there isn't one just because it's so crystal clear and obvious. It's Wayne Gretzky by a country mile over everyone. Everybody. Else. But you but you could have the argument in hockey as far as because you play both ways, right? You got it. There's there is enough it's not as if you're you sit on the other the, the bench when the other team has the puck. Like so there what pre Gretzky, there was that discussion, whether it was Bobby or whomever. I'm out over my skis a bit talking about hockey history. Basketball, there's obviously been a, as of late a real debate. And pre MJ, there was a real debate. Why? Because there's only five guys on the court. You play both ways. It's a real thing. There's never been this debate, really, in two sports, football and baseball. Baseball because how do you differentiate the value of Satchel Paige versus the value of Babe Ruth, right? Or, the, or mm -hmm. Willie Mays versus Bob Gibson, whomever you're, the pitcher versus positional player, there's the greatest pitcher ever discussion and greatest positional player ever discussion. And I feel the same way about football. I. It is inarguable that Tom, at this point, Tom Brady's the greatest and most accomplished quarterback of all time. But how do we say what Tom Brady's greatness is versus, you mentioned Jim Brown, you mentioned Lawrence Taylor, Deion Sanders, Jerry Rice. We know the names on the list. We want to go back to the archives. Deacon Jones, I think Reggie White's a great one. Like, I don't, we'll leave people out. We, Barry Sanders, if he's your running back, whomever. It's so hard to say that it's, someone other than a quarterback when it comes to importance, but importance and greatness are different discussions. I think that it's really unfair, and I'll take the Michael Jordan approach. It's really hard to compare the greatnesses of players in different eras. And this is the argument that I could make for a group of guys that they could play in any era and be special without a question. That being Jim Brown, that being Lawrence Taylor, that being Deion Sanders. And if you want to add Tom Brady to that, I, I will add him to that. But this is what I will tell you. I don't believe Tom Brady would have been as good in the 60s and 70s and the 80s. And you know the reason why? Because the quarterbacks took a pounding. 
So if you want to start breaking down that, Mr. Kraft, since you think he is, do you think he could have done with Joe Montana? Joe Montana didn't lose any Super Bowl, but he also took a pounding in the pocket. So when you talk about leadership and these all other things, what about toughness that used to be always one of the key ingredients? Could, could he play when Dan Marino played? Because Dan was sitting there and take it in the chops and be able to deliver and didn't care as long as he could get the ball to his wide receivers. So just be careful when you start going to other eras and everything. Jerry Rice would have been dominant. Drop him in any era. Jim Brown would rush for 100 yards today or 40 years ago. Now when you go back, because the quarterback position has changed with the rules and how they protect the quarterback. So I would just say be careful. I do believe the greatest quarterback, he should get that title based on being in those eight Super Bowls mm -hmm. and how accurate he's become as a passer. But in any era, would Tom Brady be the best quarterback? I'm just going to slow down on that. You, you always tell me that the players, especially the great players, don't do the rankings. That when you made the Hall of Fame, you looked at it as it was the end of all debates. Like Lynn Swan told me that. Okay. that. I would never be involved in a conversation when people would ask you, well, who's better between you, Jerry Rice, and Michael Irvin? They didn't know about Nick Wright. They didn't know I'd be on the show with Nick Wright. <laughs> but in the room, we consider... Jim Brown to be the greatest. That's so was every year when I go with the greatest football players ever, we're not taking no poll. We're not putting, we believe Jim Brown. Jim Brown is the only man in the Hall of Fame when all the other Hall of Famers are together. When he comes in the room, we all stand up. Now, we got a lot of respect for Tom Brady. I brought up Tom Brady conversations. The Hall of Famers love Tom Brady. They think he's amazing. Joe Montana thinks he's amazing. How he's grown his game, how he's taking care of his body. So the Hall of Famers, they do have a tremendous amount of respect for Tom Brady. You know what, CC? I, I think that that's important to note in terms of the, the comparisons between the different Hall of Famers. And we always have the conversation about the story of the game. And if you can't tell the story of the game without a certain player, then they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I think you can make that, that argument or you can bring that comparison into this conversation about whether or not Tom Brady is the GOAT. Like, can you tour the story of football, especially the last two decades, without Tom Brady? And the answer is no. I mean, if you look mm -hmm. at the history of our game, can you tell the story of the NFL without Tom Brady? I believe the answer is no. There are only a few players that I would view through that same lens in terms of the story of the game and being that important or that critical to the history of football. And I think that Tom Brady is on that list of players. One thing Brady should be able to be recognized for is the length of his career. I tell Nick all the time that Michael Jordan's the greatest basketball player but the only reason why you can bring LeBron in the conversation is because he's been in his prime for so long. And that's worthy to, to be appreciated. Tom Brady has played it at such an excellent level for such a long time that no other pro has had the type of career that he's had. And that makes it special. And it should be noted, four years ago today, this was a fierce debate and one that tilted towards Joe Montana. It's what Brady's accomplished in the last four calendar years. Winning two Super Bowls, making a third, and being in the final four every single time, and adding another MVP that has given him the separation from Joe Montana to where That's he is That's why I said it seems like we have a conversation, then four years later we have it again and again. He is just a remarkable athlete. Chris, stick around. Coming up are Jared Goff and the Rams in for a rude awakening at the Superdome this weekend. Talk about that next on First Things First.